Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, January 10th, and it is a beautiful winter day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Bit of sunshine, high is going to be about 42 degrees Fahrenheit. Not bad at all for January. Uh, enjoying some 8 o'clock coffee. And I've got my Rick Black Morta with some LJ Peretti Cuban mixture. I would show you the can, but I can't because it's actually holding up my microphone right now. <laughs> so I bought a uh, bought a new microphone, and I'm trying it out. So you'll have to give me some feedback on the audio quality of this uh, this particular episode. Uh, but I got to come up with a way to mount it, and right now I just have it sitting. So the box is the box that the microphone came in, and then the LJ Peretti tin is on top of that. And then the microphone sitting on top of the LJ Pretty tin. Uh, so we could fall at any moment and create some excitement. We'll see. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, was a was a quick week. Um, going back to work really made the time fly. And uh, here it is Sunday. So going back to work again tomorrow. Things are speeding up again. The holidays are over. The circle of life continues. I had a great time on Friday night talking with Jeremy Reeves. I hope you had a chance to catch that uh, either live or in the replay. And it's still there, so obviously go check out the replay. Um, great guy. Re really a lot of fun to talk to Jeremy. So I enjoyed it. I think that we got some really good questions from the from the group. So all in all, it was a good night. And uh, what I've been doing since is a lot of stuff. Um, I'm moving things around. I'm... I'm cleaning, I've been tying flies, I've been ordering tools, um, <clears throat> ordering microphones, all, all kinds of good stuff. Um, I will, I think with certainty, I will put a video up out on Monday that'll be a shop video. So that'll give you something to look forward to. That's tomorrow, actually. And it's not a pipe, but it's something I think you'll be interested in. Uh, and I've got a pipe series I'm working on now that I think is going to be really good. I had to pause it because I needed a reamer. I didn't have the right size reamer, so I had to wait for that to come in. It came yesterday. Um, so we're good to go. Um, so I'm hoping to tie that up this week, really. I'd like to get that pipe turned around and back to the customer this week. So we'll, uh, we'll keep the camera rolling as we do it, and hopefully you'll have another... Another shop series coming shortly after the, the one that's starting tomorrow. So that'll be fun. Enjoying this Cuban mixture. I actually did a short test of the microphone, the microphones. I, I switched back and forth between them in the various settings. And I started this bowl then, so this is getting pretty close to the bottom. I might have to reload with some Haunted Bookshop before the video is over. I would reload with the uh, Cuban Mixture, but, uh, you know, I can't get to it. And I do have to... Things have gotten a little out of control this weekend. I've just been sort of doing so many different things that I haven't taken the time to put stuff away. So I got I got some work to do after I'm done with this video. I slept this morning to the ungodly hour of 8 a.m. I I always get up at you know, 6, 6.30, and I stayed up a little late last night, and the alarm went off this morning, and I just said, eh, I ain't going to do it. And I went back to sleep. So Hopefully this is not a, not a sign of things to come. Before you know it, I'll be sleeping at 2 o'clock in the afternoon like a teenage boy. Uh, I, you know, sleep's a funny thing. I, I remember being that age and just thinking, man, I just want to sleep. It's, I, I, I don't want to go to bed at night, you know. I want to, I want to, party's a strong word, you know, because maybe I'd be out with friends, but maybe I'd just be watching, 
watching movies or something or reading even. Um, you know, and I wouldn't want to go, but then once I was asleep, I did not want to get up. It was just like I was in a, in an altered state or something. And now that I'm at the age that I'm at, you know, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to have difficulty falling asleep and I'm starting to wake up early. Um, and I know that people, as they get older, they get less and less sleep because of that sleep becomes fragmented. But boy, when you when you can get into that just sort of deep, solid sleep where the whole world goes away, uh, it's very refreshing. And that's where I was this morning, and I just thought eh, I need I need a little bit more of this. Um, I I usually run on about six and a half to seven hours sleep, but uh, I got a solid eight. That's pretty good. Yeah, I haven't tried Cuban Mixture. It's, uh, I believe it's Paredes oldest blend. It's enjoyable. I, I'm sure I've done a review on this or an impressions video on this at some point in the past. So go and look at my tobacco and precious play, impressions playlist. There we go. That's hard to say. But it's, I believe Peretti describes it as a mixture of eight tobacco leaves. They don't say what those tobacco leaves are. It's definitely got cigar leaf in it. It's definitely got burley. I don't think there's... If there's Perique, it's light. There's no Latakia. There might be some Oriental. And I'm guessing there's some Virginia in there somewhere, but it, it's not... It's not dominant. It, it's interesting. This, this, it's very complex. There's a lot of stuff in this blend, and it's all topped off with that Peretti secret sauce that makes you crave it fortnightly. It's good stuff. It's really good stuff. Um, so I, I've been buying it. Whenever I order from Pretty, I get it. I get an eight-ounce tin of it. I think if um, if something happened to Haunted Bookshop, I'd probably be okay with Cuban Mixture. Um, although, to be honest, my first choice wouldn't be Cuban Mixture. It would be. Um, For the, the Four Noggins blend. I can't think of it right now. The one that John and I referred to as Haunted Bookshop Jr. What the heck was that stuff called? Oh, anyway, it'll come to me. Uh, I'll, I'll find out and I'll put the, put a, put the words in here somewhere. Um, yeah, that would be my, my, my next choice because it's uh, Waybridge. There we go, Waybridge. <laughs> uh, Waybridge is very similar to Haunted Bookshop. It's, it's milder. It's not Haunted Bookshop, but it's got a lot of similarities. And it's, you know, available in bulk and it's cheap. Uh, pretty tobacco is a premium. You know, you pay a premium for it, but it's good quality stuff. I guess that's another sign of old age. I'm... Fractured sleep and the inability to recall facts. <laughs> I don't know why I had so much trouble remembering Weybridge. And you young guys, Weybridge, it's been aged for a couple of years. Um, by a couple, I mean four or five at least. It's wonderful. It's really, really good. I'm so happy that I've got uh, about five or six jars of that because uh, that's <clears throat> that's really special. I need to buy more, uh, you know, and hopefully have have more in five or six years. Uh, assuming I'm still around in five or six years. Right? Eight 
aging tobacco is a young man's game. And don't get me wrong, I, I plan to be around for quite a long time. In fact, I quite frankly, I, I plan to just not die. I figure that's the best, um, the best path forward. You know why? I don't know why you'd want to do anything else. So I'm gonna just keep on that. But I got I got some time. I'll be just fine. Ah. Uh, This is very good. So live streams have been doing very well. Um, we had um, the Pipe Club live stream two weeks ago. We had close to a hundred folks join us, uh, and I don't care. I don't care if five people show up. I'm going to do the show. I I enjoy it. Uh, but it's nice to see those numbers, you know, it, it, it makes you feel like you're doing something worthwhile for folks. So we had uh, close to 100 show up two weeks ago, and then for Jeremy Reeves, we had, uh, I think the maximum was like 133, which was really great. Now we'll see what happens this week, because it's going to be a um, solo, you know, pipe club live stream, but... Hopefully some of those folks found it interesting enough that they'll want to come back. And I know the core group is going to be there. And Like I said, I don't care. Um, I'll do it if... I guess I'll do it if one guy shows up, you know. <laughs> it's, it's something I enjoy. I just enjoy chatting with folks. So if it's just one person, that's fine. might not do the full hour and a half. We could get bored with one another, but yeah, you know, we'll see. So at least here in this little corner of the world, we're keeping sane, keeping busy. Lots to do. And that's always good. I hope you're keeping sane and busy in your corner of the world, and you've got lots to do, and I will therefore let you get off and do it. Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, I don't say this often uh, in these videos, but you know, please, if you're, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I'd really like to make sure that you know when new content is coming out, uh, and love to have you as a subscriber. Hit that thumbs up button. It helps get the channel out to other folks and, you know, helps place us in the YouTube algorithm, uh, which is much appreciated. So if you could do both of those for me, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I hope you have a fantastic week ahead. And until next time, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.